guys welcome back to another video it's gravy here and in this video i'm going to be back on magnet and i'm going to be showing you which challenges you should be doing now right now currently as of 26th of may in madden 20 nfl 20 so guys this is being uploaded like 10 minutes after the uh most recent video uh the prime super packs video go check it out guys it will be it should be probably it should come, have come out before this video, but in this video I'm going to be showing you every ch all the challenges and which ones you should be doing and taking advantage of. So if you don't know, not not if you do not know, Madden 20 challenges are a really good way to start off your team, everything like that. And I'm going to be showing you all the best ones. So first of all, NFL draft definitely worth it. You can you can you, all you need is 150 stars. And what you get is 390 overall pick, which isn't terrible if you're starting out, and you get two draft diamonds. If you do not know what draft diamonds are, then let me just, you know, wait. Um, so if you go to sets, you do get a lot of like tokens and all of that. Um, NFL draft, there we go. So you can either get a 97 overall draft class 20 player. Or 97 overall draft hero. So guys, I took a fat L. I thought this was the one where you get the... I I mixed them up. Basically, you want to choose the draft hero. Because you get like um a couple picks and you can pick between... There's Odell, Cam Newton, and there's another player. I don't know. But I went with the draft class 20 by accident. So, I took a major L. However... These cards are solid. Like, for example, I picked, as you can see there, CJ Henderson from the draft class 20. And he's an absolute god, guys. Like, he's really nice for a free card. Look at that. 96 speed, 97 acceleration, 96 agility, 94 jumping, 93 play recognition, 96 man coverage, 91 zone coverage, and 92 plus. Really nice card. So, guys, um, that is definitely worth it. And great thing about these challenges you do not have to go on a hard difficulty or anything all you really need like how many challenges are there let me see a hundred challenges so basically you can just go for two try and get two stars every single game so let's just go easy difficulty and do the requirements on easy and then do the bonus and then you can probably and you can get this done in like uh, 70 ch 75 cha challenges however i went for three stars to make it quicker and it was pretty simple and you get really nice rewards so if you have not done nfl draft do that fan appreciation this is incredible guys you have to be doing this you can get a free golden ticket and an 87 and 90 but that's not the point free golden ticket guys a free you heard that any golden ticket player i know i have not done a video on this however i will be doing a more in-depth explanation this friday because this friday the last section of challenges come out and the last section uh, will mean that people can get their golden tickets so i will be doing a video then on who you should be choosing however for now i'm not going to be and i'm not going to be going in depth like i'm like realistically all you need to do is just do these 10 challenges and go for four stars but like I've done a lot, like look at that, I went 3 stars here, 4 stars, the reason I went 5 stars on these, is because all you need to do, is get sacks and make them fumble it, 3 stars for example, 4 stars, um, 5 stars, 4 stars, 4 stars, 3 stars, 5 stars, so, like, and as you can see here, 3 stars, 3 stars, 4 stars, 5 stars, 4 stars, 3 stars, 4 stars, 5 stars, 5 stars, 4 stars, so guys, the way you can do this is, if you have not watched my video about the sacks, I will uh, put it. At the, I will link it in the. I will uh, put it at the end of the video for you, so you guys can click straight on it. But do not click off this video yet. And for what you want to do is you want to go through all the challenges and look out which ones you can get the sacks with. So this one is a good way you can go on a hard difficulty and get both of them, because it says do not allow more than thirty yards. But all you really need to do is try and get a hit stick fumble. And if they fumble the ball and you just dive to the floor, you'll get all three or you get all the stars. Same thing here, get a sack this drive. You literally just get a sack straight away. And that's done. Same thing here, get do not allow more than four yards. Get a sack. 
make them fumble it easy. Um, force a turnover, make them fumble the ball. I I actually had some difficulty with that because, but I, in the end, I made them punt it. I think so. Oh no, I made the safety, didn't I? I think I did. Do not allow touchdown this drive. Same thing. Same thing here. Do not allow any points. So yeah, that's how you want to do it. I will be going in depth of the challenges on Friday, and I will be showing you which golden tickets you can choose from, and which one you should choose. But for now, we're just gonna leave it at that. Then we've got the Madden Bowl. I know I haven't completed this, but that's because I realized I can't complete it. But this is really nice because you get an MCS champion token, and the where where you can use that, guys. You ask. Um, if it will load, you can go to sets and. It's, I think, Madam Bowl. There we go. And it's an MCS Championship pa pack. You get one for free. And if you get another one, you get a choice of a 96 overall. You can get Ezekiel Elliott, Khalil Mack, or Marshawn Lattimore. But I, I, I can do it because I thought I was going to be able to do it easily. But then I realized I didn't, I didn't get enough stars. And I was just like, I'm not going to replay it, you know. This one is a bit more rubbish because you, like, 16 stars... You basically have to get like four stars every game, which is pretty hard considering that. I mean, I, I just didn't think about it before I went into it. And I messed up, but I'm not going to go for it. But you guys should go for it. Assemble your team. What I recommend is, I recommend you guys complete these first three. Like, I recommend you com like fully complete the first three because they're really easy. And then for this, you just go on easy difficulty and do the bonuses. That's it. Because on hard difficulty is too much. And doing that you can get 53 stars. Where you can earn some ultimate trainer fantasy packs. Which is actually quite nice. Because you can um, put them in like a set. And you quick sell them for like. And then you get like a quick sell for like 3,000. Oh no you get 3,000 coins. You also get some tokens. You get some jerseys. 9,000 coins which is really nice. And yeah. If you want to max it out you can. But yeah. Power up. This is really nice. I've done this. I've done all of these recently. So um, I'll tell you some of the good ones. Wait, is there new? What? I think there's new ones. Oh my god, guys! There's new ones. I did not realize that. So yeah, there's new ones. I'm going to be doing these today. So I don't know about them. You, as you can see, you literally need one star, third quarter, second minute, and like literally it's two minute quarters. And basically, you just all you really want to do is just make them fumble the ball, and then just sit there and um, wait and slowly get your touchdown. You don't want to keep running to the end zone after you get the fumble, because yeah, you can stack stack your pad like not stack your pad pad your stats, but that's not what you want to do because they'll just like make it longer. But yeah, it's Marvin Jones Jr., Philip Lindsay, Anthony Castonzo, Eric Berry, Mike Daniels, Aquib Talib. So, guys, I have not done these, and these are new, so that's pretty nice. I did not know that. But, yeah, you want to, like, there's the, some here, Juice McAllister. Um, all these go for, like, some of them go for, like, 96, some of them go to 98, and some of them go, like, to, like, 90. I'll tell you all the ones that I am actually upgrading. I think I'm upgrading Rodney Hudson. I'm upgrading Desmond Trufant, and I know that. Um... I'm upgrading Jason McCourty, and I already have Mika High, that's why I didn't go for him. I think I'm upgrading Cordell Stewart. I, I don't know, guys. I'm upgrading Corley, Schles Corley Schlesinger. I can't say his name, guys. Um, And then I'm upgrading some of these, aren't I? Raheem Moster, I think I'm upgrading him. Um, And then, yeah. There's Oh, yeah, and guys, these are glitch. You don't want to play these. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, for these ones, for the last one where it's um, power struggle, you have to pay two stars, but that's fine. So, I if you don't want to pay for power-ups, you can go get them. It's a massive W anyway, because it's still like a thousand coins for each. So yeah, then there's a gauntlet. I'm not doing this, because yeah, you can get some, you can get th 380, three at least elite players. You can get 15k, an upgrade token, another 20k, another upgrade token. Another fantasy pack and another 35k, and then you can get a 92 plus, right? But the thing, 50, like that's like 70k coins, which is a lot, but it's too hard. You have to play on hard difficulty or get wrecked, guys. This is hard. 
this is not i did not i'm not doing this i told myself i'm not doing this guys because i'm not playing on hard difficulty every time ultimate legends these are really nice i know the rewards are crappy but it is what it is because you do here you get ultimate legends tokens which i actually don't know what are for so let's go check out what they're for guys don't say they took me out of ultimate team oh, okay thank god so we'll have a look at the ultimate legends and see who they are by the way is this anthony sherman is my third best card it's not oh this is oh no no, no okay boy guys you put in your tokens here and you can get one random career edition ultimate legend here guys i don't know what that is but you get a load of these from doing ultimate legends so guys these this is worth it these are definitely worth it because you can get this one random career i don't know what like, oh it's one of these oh my god guys you should be doing this you need to be doing these challenges man you're getting guaranteed a 96 plus and there's a chance of you getting a 90 like in, guys if you put like a 90 mean joe green joe thomas willie lanier randall cunningham ted hendricks randall mcdaniel Jay Porter, Tony Gonzalez, John Randall, Jerry Rice, Will Smith, Jim Brown, Chan Bailey, Randy Moss, Lawrence Taylor, Walter Payton, Simeon Rice, Michael Vick, Ronnie Lott, Rob Gronkowski. That's a massive W. You need to be grinding this, guys. 16, which may seem like a lot, but I don't think it actually is that much. Because if we do go into the Ultimate Legends... Um... There's loads of different releases, and I think you get, then you get one every time. You might get one later on here. I think you do, guys. So you can get yourself a free Ultimate Legend 96 or above, which is crazy. And not only that, you get power-up players, which is really nice. Like, you got power-up, so you're basically getting free power-up players, and you're getting free coins on the way. So, I think this is really worth it. I'm definitely going to be grinding all of these releases so I can get power plays and I can get myself some tokens. So, guys, you should be doing it too. Free agency, you need to get your free 96. How many stars? 120. Three stars on each challenge. That's all you need to do. They're pretty simple. Yeah. And I did pick... Who did I pick? I think I picked a defensive tackle. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I'm going to have a look. Yeah, I picked Gerald McCoy, defensive tackle. And you can get cards with pretty solid stats. With these, there's not any specific really good ones. You just want to pick one that suits your team and that you need an upgrade in that position. So, yeah. Um, Then you go to NFL Combine. This is not worth it, guys. You, you get an 86. I think it's Darius Slay. I, I can't see it, guys. It's too far away from me, the screen. But you get an 86, which is not worth it. And then you get an 893, which is not worth um 108 stars for. Because you literally have to literally go max stars every single time, which is rubbish. Theme Builders 2, you get, this is worth it. You get a free 95, a free 95 but only 80 stars. And you literally only have to do like two stars, a, two stars a game. I am so close to doing this. I literally grinded these out for like three hours in the morning. Um, and I'm almost done. All I need is like eight more games. And these are a bit. You want to do Dream Builders first because these are like winning games in the fourth quarter, which is kind of long. But eight more of these, and I'll get, be done, which is probably like an hour and a half, which isn't terrible to be honest. For three ninety five, so that's really worth it. I don't know who you can get because I haven't done it yet. Journey Diamonds. I don't actually know what you get from this i think it may be a high rated player i'm not i'm gonna be honest guys i'm not sure but i think you do so i recommend you at least go for 60 stars guys if you want you can after this video click on someone else's video like xerxes swift i don't know just to see if um what you get from this but yeah super bowl ticket this is kind of nice um four you get an, for four tickets you get a 95 overall overall and for six you get a 97 yeah no 96 yeah so if you do 
all if you finish all of it you can get a 96 and a 95 which is nice but i'm probably only going to go for the 95 or only the 96 and we will quickly check the plays you can pick from this is going to be a bit of a longer video guys because there's more to talk about here and if it does cut off again i'm really sorry guys but i am looking for a solution um oh where was it i forgot oh yes there we go and it's tickets and look at that you can get a past hero you can get so sonny sonny michelle i can't say his name sorry guys adam timmerman or clay matthews and then you can get any choice of the six nine six overall super bowl present heroes i'm probably gonna go with the present heroes because i probably some nice cards but i recommend you try and go for the six um tickets but if you're really struggling just take your four tickets get a free 95 and yeah and you won i don't know actually realistically i'll see how i do with the challenges i might go for the m6 so as you can see from how i'm like talking about how i haven't done these it's because i am new i literally got this like game like maybe start of may oh yeah 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 no, no i got it like around 7th of may so i'm doing pretty well uh team of the fantasy pack this is worth it you only need three stars on every challenge which isn't terrible because you can literally just go on easy difficulty um so yeah and you get yourself a team of the year player i'm pretty sure which is really nice and if you want to go extreme you can get yourself an extra 5k which i do not recommend and if all players is not worth it 89 player for 108 stars which is basically like three stars every game which is a bit not worth it now nfl 100 these are worth it man like listen guys i know these cards are trash but these are so easy like i know they're 84 overalls but look how easy it is it's a one star passing touchdown and you get power up players just for doing these look at that this is so easy and the thing is you also get some coins for doing it you also get some packs i'm pretty sure probably some training or some trophies i don't know and then you get some free 84s which i mean you they won't do anything but they're still there then we got another gauntlet as you guys know this is the same as every other one the ones that we saw er er earlier with hard and get wrecked except these are worse less coins less play players uh fantasy pack this time and 80 plus so these the coins are really nice but guys if you cannot play on hard difficulty don't do it these i do recommend journey so um as you can see they are 50 challenges and you can probably get two stars every single game so that could probably take you to 100 stars which i probably recommend you guys go for because everything else is not worth it because if you go to 100 stars you get 50k gold player pack an all pro oh, an all pro pack gridiron player pack and they get a gold player so you're getting 50k just for getting 100 stars if you want to go the further but you can these you literally cannot do there's no challenges which is pretty weird legends these are nice too because you do get power ups for doing these so i do recommend you do these i'm keeping the power up plays for last because i've already like the, i know this sounds dumb but it's because i've already started like i've already started i'm i'm leaving the challenges that you get power up plays for from air for last because i've already started powering up players and i don't want to you know be like halfway like literally about to finish a, a half back and then get like a, a half back from here that's way better i'd rather just finish them and yeah my hero i know you did guys didn't understand that but whatever um this is not worth it it's a uniform and if you want the fantasy pack you literally need to go for like four stars which is pretty boring so yeah i don't recommend that nfl epics i do not recommend this you literally get nothing here i only started that because i was at the start of the game journey same thing here you want to do this 50 you can get m150 stars and you can get oh guys i'm sorry i messed up in the last one here you can actually get a hot wait no 
Oh no, guys, I, I didn't mess up. Sorry. I was gonna warn you. Wait, did I? Oh no, I didn't. Okay, guys, I need to shut up. So. <laughs> no, no, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Okay, 100 stars. Yeah. So, um, for the 100 stars, you can get, again, 50k. A grid on player pack, a gold premium player pack, a gold player pack, and I got get a gold player pack. So, same thing. If you guys do want to push yourself, you can go for the max stars, but I don't think it's worth it just for 80 extra training, an old journey master, Michael Thomas, a gold pack, and a token. So, yeah, go on, look. We know is the other ones. Um, here you can get some coins and stuff, but I do not recommend these gauntlets. Theme builders. Um, I don't, uh, you don't want to do these because these aren't good. However, they do give power up plays. So, I will most likely be doing these because I want the power up. I want, because they're free power up plays, you know. And the great thing about getting free power up plays is that you can see what they power up to. Because when you buy them, you're like paying 1,000. You don't even know if you can get them. So, I'm probably going to get some gold plays. Um, these aren't worth it they're only worth it for the power up plays so probably want to go for like one star and you get some free power up plays like i just said a million times so yeah theme diamonds not worth it pretty trash poo it's pretty poo it is no good rewards you don't want to do that mock superstars you do not want to do this 89 to 945 stars no you don't want to do this, but level challenges, these are really good. You want to do these. Look how many coins you get. And when you're done, look at how many you get. You can get 11k. And these are so easy to complete. Like, medium, complete touchdown pass. Medium. Hot, yeah, medium, bonus, complete touchdown pass in one play. And the thing is... Guys, the way you can do these passing ones, most overpowered, the stick pass. That is so overpowered for me, and I get so many passes with it. Same with this sack. This is not hard. I, you guys know how to get sacks, because I've showed you the method. And if you haven't seen it, go check it out. So, those are the challenges. I hope this video has helped you guys. Um, for the people that are starting and that are, and that are new. Um, this is just a little, like, a, re like a, a recap of which challenges are uh, kind of nice and which ones are not worth it. So, that's going to cap it off, guys. Please comment down below, like, subscribe, rose to 20, 20 subscribers, and peace.